Hey, it's Jessica with the Hot Keys to Happiness here. In this video, I want to go over how we can output the date and time format in different programs using the same shortcut. So right now, you can use shortcuts in different programs, but they're all different. Notepad uses F5. Excel uses Control semicolon or Control shift semicolon to get the time. OneNote uses Alt Shift D. And honestly, the list goes on and on with the variations that exist. But I'm going to show you a way to create a global hotkey that will apply to all of your programs so that you just have to remember one thing instead of each program's shortcut. And for this, we're going to use Auto Hotkey. So if you don't have Auto Hotkey or if you have an older version, go on over to www.autohotkey.com. Auto Hotkey is a Windows based scripting software, it's open source. And it allows you to do a lot of op automations as well as creating your own hotkeys. So just hit download and make certain that you're downloading the V2 version because the script that we're going to write will not work on any of the older versions. So once you've downloaded that and you have it installed, we're going to open up auto hotkey dash, which should open up automatically for you. Now, AutoHotkey Dash allows you to come in here and create new scripts. You can open the help files, and there's also a lot of other links, especially if you're new to AutoHotkey, that you can poke around in and read. But don't worry, I'll walk you through exactly how we're going to make this hotkey. So AutoHotkey by itself won't actually do anything. It requires a script to be run to tell it what it needs to do. And we're going to create one of those scripts that will actually define a hotkey or a series of keys that need to be pressed that can then tell the computer what to run. So go ahead and hit new script and click minimal for V2 and then give it a name. I'm just going to give it date output and hit edit. Now, if you haven't selected your default editor for this, go ahead and select whichever text editor you prefer. I'm using VS Code, but honestly, even Notepad will do. AHK scripts are just text files with an AHK extension on the end of them that have commands that AutoHotKey will read and understand how to process. So I'm also going to open the help file. And if you have an older version installed, make certain you just hit V2. Otherwise, the correct one will already pop up for you. Now, AutoHotKey can do a number of things, but what we're going to focus on here is creating our own hotkey. So I'm going to pull open the hotkeys syntax, which is specific to creating hotkeys. So here's a really simple example. The first line is your hotkey name, followed by two colons. So this example is the hashtag or pound symbol N, and that hashtag or pound symbol actually stands for the Windows key. So this is defining a hotkey where you press Windows and N, and then it will actually run Notepad. So everything after the first line will be put into these curly braces, and that's going to define a function body for what happens when you run this hotkey. So we're going to follow the exact same syntax for outputting our date and time stamp format. And I really like the way that Excel does it. So I want to do control semicolon. You can click here under the hotkey modifier symbols and see that control is represented as the caret symbol. And then semicolon is just the semicolon. So then we need those two colons after this hotkey name and then the curly braces to define the function body. So we know we want to get the date and time. And for this, we're going to use the format time function. And I'll open the help documentation for this so we can take a look at what format time does. So format time is going to transform a timestamp into the specified date time format that you'd like. It 
has two optional parameters. The first parameter is a timestamp string, and it tells us right here that we can leave this parameter blank and it'll use the current local date and time. That's exactly what we want. So we'll put a comma here to leave that first parameter blank. And then the second parameter is the format. So it says if we leave this blank, we're gonna get the time followed by the long date, which is not exactly what I wanna see. I'm gonna add a comment up here. And because I live in the US, I'm super backwards. And I like to see it as month, day, year. You can, of course, change this however you would like to format your date timestamp, but this is what I'd like to see. So the format type is a string, which means we need to enclose this in quotation marks. And we'll scroll down and see how we can use the date formats here to get what we want. So we want the month, which are capital M's. Make certain you put the capital M's or you're going to get minutes. Then a slash dd slash y y for the year. Now this will get us the time, but this is not actually doing anything with the time. So we know that we want to send keystrokes to our computer to actually output the time. And the preferred way of sending this in AutoHotKey is to use send input. And this basically is a fast, reliable way to send keystrokes using AutoHotKey. So this is it, this is our entire script. Uh, just a reminder, this is the control semicolon, hotkey name up here, and then everything in these curly braces is what is going to be executed when we run this hotkey. So now we need to hit save on our script, and we have to run the script. Now we're going to double click on the script here to run it, but notice nothing pops up and nothing appears to have happened, but in the background auto hotkey is now actually running this script, and it's just sitting there waiting for you to press control semicolon. And when you do that, it will output, it will execute what's in here. So let's test it out. We'll open notepad, hit control semicolon, and there we go. We got the date exactly how we wanted it. Now you can also add on any number of hotkeys that you want in the same script. So let's say I wanted to add the time I want to make this one the same as Excel again. So I'm going to go back to the hotkey definition and look at the modifier symbols so that I can get control, shift, which shift is the plus sign, and then semicolon. And this time I want to see the current time. So I want to see 4.30 p.m. And so we're going to go back to this format time, go down into the time formats to see how we can format this. That would be HH for hours, MM for minutes, and space TT for the time marker AM or PM. And now this will get us the time by using control shift semicolon. So I'm going to save this and I'm going to double click on this again to run it. Now notice auto hotkey is telling me an older instance of the script is already running. Do I want to replace it? So we'll say yes, but notice it tells us if we want to avoid this message in the future, use this single instance directive. And that just means if we add this directive single instance force, AutoHotKey will not have to ask us again if we want to override the previous version of the script when we run it because it doesn't know whether we want multiple versions of the script running or just one. Typically, you're not going to want that, so we'll just put single instance force, which means it's always going to override if you update and rerun the script. So let's test this out. We have control semicolon for the date, control shift semicolon that outputs the time. And notice this works anywhere. So I can go into OneNote and do control semicolon, control shift semicolon. 
and it works in any program and you do not have to memorize the specific set of shortcuts that that program wants you to learn. Hope this helps. I found that I have used it a ton. Uh, go ahead and make certain you are able to format it however you want and customize it yourself. And let me know in the comments below if you have any questions or what you want to see next. Until next time.